Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kayla and my channel is mainly about cosplay and cosplay content and welcome to Half Calf TV. Um, today is the usual. We're doing a cosplay review. Um, it's a little bit different. I say, I feel like I say that in every video, <laughs> but I finally have ordered from Doki Doki. Um, I've been wanting to order from Doki Doki or Uwo Uwo <laughs> I don't know. Um, for a while now and I finally was able to. I ordered the Tubi Switch outfit, which I love a lot and I'm super excited to open it and see how it looks. Um, I believe that this is a Type R. So if you aren't familiar with the Doki Doki and Uwo <laughs> um, web cosplay selling websites, they typically have like, it might just be Doki Doki, but I'm not sure. Um, they have a kind of like a rating system for their costumes. Um, I think it's R, S, R, and S, S, R. So like the S, S, R's are the most expensive and the R's, even though they're supposed to be like the least, um, well-made, uh, they're still kind of expensive. <laughs> and this was the R. Now I'm pretty sure that this is only available in R. So, yeah, they only have, um, the Switch costume in an R. Um, yeah, it looks like they only have R and SR for the Nier costumes. And, um, I, when I ordered it, it was ready for ship. And I believe it got here. Let's look. So, it started the process of shipping on the 18th of January. And it got here on the 23rd. So, absolute insanely fast <laughs> uh, shipping for the ready to ship. I've heard horror stories of people like ordering stuff and it doesn't show for months and months and months. <laughs> so, um, I was a little bit nervous, but it said ready to ship. And I ordered it before the uh, Lunar New Year, so they shipped it out like ASAP. So, I was very, very pleased with the shipping. It's awesome. Um, it did come, I think it probably came like this at the end, I'm hoping. But it did come like with a little hole, with a little hole in it. Um, so yeah, I was a little, I'm a little bit worried that something might be ruined in there, but I think it should be fine. I think it was probably just with the, the last, um, mile delivery system. I think it was on track or DHL. I don't know. Um, may have like ripped it, but no big deal. So yeah, the shipping was extremely fast. If you get ready to ship, I have no experience with like, a, like pre-orders or anything like that. So I would recommend watching a video for that if you're ordering something that isn't ready to ship. But my experience so far has been pretty good. This is just the first costume that I've bought from them though. Um, pricing wise, uh, it wasn't that bad compared to like some of the other costumes I've seen. Um, like I know some of the Genshin cosplays on their website and with Uwowo, I feel like I'm just butchering that. <laughs> but um, like some other Genshin ones are like $140 and stuff. This was like the price of like a Maiko cost, my, my costumes, um, costume, so it wasn't that bad. So I definitely took the opportunity when I saw that it was a Doki Doki one. Now, um, will the quality be better? I guess we'll see. Um, so a little bit about the sizing as well. Um, I got some comments on my Raiden Shogun cosplay review and that was like my first cosplay review. So I did uh, leave a lot of stuff out. But I am about 168 or 169 centimeters tall, like five, six, five, six and a half. Um, 
just so you guys know. And um, the sizing on Doki Doki's website uh, feels a lot smaller than Mikos. Um, I am usually like a medium in Mikos, and for Doki Doki, I had to order a uh, extra large. <laughs> so a big difference. But let's go ahead and open this and see what we got. Okay, I should have brought scissors. I just ripped it open. So, um, here's the costume package. I don't know what this lavender. Are these seeds? Right here. I don't know if it's gonna focus because I'm trying to look to make sure it focuses. It's focusing on my face. Um, interesting. Okay. So by first glance, um, well the bag on the for the costume has a little bit of damage. Right there. I don't know if that's from the bag tearing on the outside, but um, the costume under it doesn't look like it's damaged. So, all right, let's open this. Let's see, I'm gonna see if these are seeds first though. I don't think these are seeds. They just kind of feel like seeds. I think this might just be like a scent pack. I kind of want to open it. I probably shouldn't, but I'm doing it anyways. A little scentsy, scentsy? <laughs> is that what they call them? It's dried flowers, but you know, like just a scent packet. I think scentsies are the candles. I don't know. But let's get on to what we're actually here for, the costume. All right, tea. This looks like it's, I don't know why it says 2x. Like it might be what it goes up to. But this looks like um, the bra. It comes in its own baggie. Okay, so here it is. It's like a um, spandex on the back. Ooh, I got a whiff of <laughs> plastic. And here it is. Focusing on my face. It's, um, it looks pretty nice. Oh, there's a thread, but it's fine. It wasn't like attached. It looks really nice. Here's some. The lace. But it is, um, cupped in the back. So yeah, it's a lace and spandex kind of mix this it probably goes up to 2x is why it says that um yeah this should work i hope it's not gonna be too big um but really nice so far yeah no really yeah no loose threads that thread was just like kind of on it it wasn't like part of the costume just sticking out so that's fine by me oh there's one right here it's very small Okay, so far, so good. Okay, um, I, okay, I pulled out two things. I pulled out, oops, <laughs> a soul lens cap. I pulled out the accessories and I pulled out the OB. So here it is. And it does, it does smell like plastic. Um, and here they have little um, snaps on the back for where the bow goes. This is really pretty though. I mean, for uh, R, which is supposed to be like the low quality one, obviously not like trash, but <laughs> not as good as the SSR. This is really nice. It's closed by some thick Velcro. So it's three. Okay. Ah, it's stuck to my sweater. Okay, so it's three little uh, rows of Velcro. And let's take a look inside. Everything looks really good inside. Here, I'll show you guys. Looks pretty good. This sweater keeps getting stuck. <laughs> um, 
yeah, it looks really nice. Uh, just a few threads right there. Uh, the bow is really cute. It's um, embroidered on both sides. And it's sewn in to the little belt on the waist. So it's not gonna go anywhere. It's not gonna hang or anything. The one thing I didn't like about my Michael costumes um, to be cosplay is that her belt or her belt, her bow on her skirt, um, the way they did it is <laughs> a, um, a pin. <laughs> I can't think of the word. I swear it's always when I'm filming that I can't think of names of things But it's a pin that you just push through. It's just like a pin that you push through the uh, A bow they have to tie yourself and it just hangs there and I always had to photoshop it out. I hate it <laughs> So I like this a lot more Alrighty Now I was debating on getting a large versus extra large but looking at like the The OB and the bra. I'm kind of glad I got the extra large so here are the accessories. Um, these are a lot. I'm gonna have to look at her model to see where everything goes. But here is one of the pieces. Oh yeah, here's this and it's just covered in plastic to protect it. It's a pretty good um, little pin back. Okay, so one of them has the little pearl charm on both sides, and it also has a clasp on it. This is really pretty. It looks like it's hot glued together or some type of glue. So I'll have to be aware of that. And then there's one that just has one side and the other has a little backing on it and this also looks glued but no stray threads this has one of the pearls on the front and an attachment on the back one of them that has no pearl on the front attachment on the back um, also hot glued together you can kind of see the glue If you guys could see that. But still, no weird threads. Cool. Okay, I just kind of dumped everything. Um, so here's the headband. Okay, here's the headband. Um, this is plastic. I might use, unless it doesn't have white stitching on it, I might use the one I have for my uh, regular TV outfit because this kind of feels like it would be uncomfortable. Well, it's not too bad. But, yeah, well, I guess we'll just have to see the wig on. But yeah, that's just a basic um, black headband. I really like this, how it's like, it's um, elastic. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's elastic right here, and then just... Um, the eye patch right there. Um, I'll have to try this on with the wig as well to see how well it works. I've been needing to remake the eye patch for the other costume, so if this works, I'll just use this one. Very simple, nicely done, no weird threads again. Um, I think it should be like, yeah, it should be enough to cover my eye, I think. I believe these are socks. Um, so I'm gonna put those aside for now. Here are the gloves. Unlike in my other videos where I try the gloves on without doing the full try on, I'm gonna wait to try these on. I am gonna open them though. I like how a lot of the things are individually wrapped. This is kind of like some type of satin it looks like. Um, Found my first like stuck thread. <laughs> but yeah, very shiny. Uh, they don't look too ginormous. So 
hopefully they fit, but yeah, they're really nicely done. Um, they, look, they aren't lined on the inside. Uh, let me take the little plot or the paper piece out. So they're pretty thin. So you probably won't, oh, I almost tried them on. See, I always do that. <laughs> uh, so you probably won't get too hot in them. They are gloves though, so. Yeah. And last in the accessory case, uh, I wonder where this goes. Okay, so it's the same kind of uh, rope and then they sewed it to some elastic. It's not focusing very well. I'm not sure where this goes. I think this is the exact same elastic I have. <laughs> but yeah, it just kind of looks a little bit weird quality wise and then oh and then one more little bow with nothing on the front okay so i think all that's left is the main costume all right first we have the little bow well i say little but i mean it's not too bad <laughs> too big i mean this is like another pleather yeah, it doesn't smell as bad as the Yara cosplay did, but I can definitely smell the plastic. Here it is. I hope that um, it has two closure or two snaps in the back. I'm hoping that those two snaps will be enough to keep up and not like fall down. My main issue with the Raiden Shogun cosplay was like the the bow in the back was so heavy <laughs> that I had to sew extra snaps into the back of the bow and then on the obi and snap it and had to make sure that while I was walking around it wouldn't just snap out of place. <laughs> but yeah, this is really cute. Nicely done. All right. And this is the main dress, I believe. It smells worse than like the rest of the accessories and stuff, maybe because they're in their own separate bags. Here. Ugh. This is nice. It has an invisible zipper in the back. You guys see? Right here. And it is lined on the inside. I'm looking for any threads. There's like no loose threads, which is awesome. Yeah, this looks really good. Um, I am so glad I got the extra large, you guys. <laughs> I don't think like, yeah, I don't think like the large would have fit. But yeah, look how nice the bordered, or the piping, I guess this would be on the side is. And I love this fabric they chose. Looks so good. All right, so that's the main dress. I, one thing I noticed though, that it fell. <laughs> one thing I noticed though is that um, I need to get like a mask. For some reason I thought it came with it, but I think you have to order that as well. So, oh, these are the, these are the arms. Oh, these are super pretty, you guys. Okay, wow. Where do I start with this? All right, I'll just try to do my best. Here's that, and then. This is so pretty. I love it. I'm like, so happy. <laughs> um, yeah, one thing I noticed is that for the piping on this side, they did just um, fold the ending over. It looks like they might have sewn it down underneath. Yeah. So, I mean, it's you don't really notice it unless you look closely, but that's just something I noticed because I am looking closely. 
Uh, some of the piping seams don't match up either. Yeah, like... You can see it's like slightly off, if that bothers you at all. It, this is also lined on the inside. The same lining as the, um, as the main dress. And yeah, let me look at the other one. Make sure they're both looking good. Yeah, they both look awesome. Um, yeah, that's all. I am like pleasantly surprised with this. Um, lately I've, I mean, I haven't had like that bad of cosplay buys recently, but to have everything look like so good is awesome. <laughs> I'm super excited to try it on. Um, so I'm gonna try this on uh, for you guys and then we'll go over what I like and my rating as well. So I will be right back. Found my glasses. All right, y'all. I I put these way different. One second. Um, like I absolutely love this costume. Is that like the same-ish? Yeah, that's fine. Um, it is so pretty. Um, it is a little bit heavy. Oops. And I found out that the um, rope with the elastic is for the socks. <laughs> so, big discovery there. <laughs> I had to look at a picture because they're still off, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I had to look at a picture because I could not figure out where some of the stuff went. Um, first thing that I noticed that I don't like at all and it's gonna suck is that the only in and out of this costume is the zipper. I thought maybe um, there was a snap at the end of this and it would be easier to get on that way. No. <laughs> it is sewn in. <laughs> so it was really hard to get this around my shoulders because they did not take the shoulder width into account for getting this on and it is not stretchy. <laughs> So, um, I think it would have benefited them to put snaps, like, or her velcro, that strong velcro is on the, the obi, for, um, the cross of the, I'm sure there's an actual term for this, I'm so sorry, but the cross of the kimono, um, so that it's easier to get in, and I don't think I have white shoulders, but maybe I do. I put it on, and I was like, oh, the bra. Struggled to take it off, put the bra on, put it back on, put, uh, didn't put my arms through one of the holes, so I had to take it back off and put it back on. And that got me all flustered. <laughs> it is hard to get on. Um, On-wise, it fits pretty well. Um, the top up here is a little bit big but with like the bra and stuff and you're supposed to see like the lace it's not that big of a deal and also the belt helps a lot to cinch in the waist I was like oh great the waist doesn't fit but I can't take it in because then I can't get it over my head but the belt helps a lot and so far I don't feel like the bow is uh, dragging down too much I'll have to see um, and also one thing is um, the sleeves my arms aren't like, like, like extremely, I'm just gonna cinch my armpit just in case, extremely like thin, but they aren't like uh, really muscular or anything like that. The uh, elastic that's in the arm piece right here to hold it up on your arms is a little bit tight. I can see that it getting, that it would get, um, excuse me, English, that it would get kind of irritating throughout the day. I mean. The more I'm wearing it, the less I'm kind of noticing it, but um, it could get irritating if you s get sweat underneath it or something like that. Um, they are a bit heavy. Um, they're super cool and pretty though. I love the flow and the design of them. And you put the little tassels with the double-sided pearls and a little clasp down here. 
that reminds me as well. Um, you guys can't really see it, but on her bow she has the, I'm gonna take the gloves off. Oh, here are the gloves by the way, before I forget. They aren't ginormous, so I don't think I need to do too much to them. Maybe the thumb, but pretty decent quality. You can tell I'm all like sweaty and flustered. <laughs> um, so this piece, let me pick up. This piece, the main front piece, the thing on the back broke. Um, and it looks like they glued, like it was broken when they glued it on to the back of this. And instead of doing it again, they just glued the back piece. It's really hard to show. So the short piece right here. The short piece right here was glued down so that when you like open the clasp to clip it in, it just came out of the glue. If I can even peel this up, oh, maybe I can. Okay, I can. So maybe I'll just replace it with something of my own. But yeah, that broke within like five seconds of me touching it and trying to put it on. So that sucks. Um, I have yet to try the socks on, so let me just do that really quick. Pretty standard nylon socks. Um, so it looks like the socks are supposed to come up higher because uh, the band, the rope with the elastic on it, is supposed to sit up higher on my thigh. And I have other socks that I'll probably use anyways that have like the sticky backing so that it sticks to your skin and it doesn't fall down as much. So yeah, these are meant to go up further on your thigh where the socks landed was like uh, my knee. It was like at my knee and these are not knee circumference. So yeah, I think that it would probably be better to um, kind of put aside a pair of socks specifically for this cosplay and maybe put like a snap in the back so that these don't roll down while you're walking. Or, hear me out, you pin this together and you go through your sock. That might work as well. All right, and last but not least, we have the um, eye patch, which I always put on the wrong side because kind of dumb. <laughs> So let's see how this goes. Which way? So it's supposed to be like on this. Oh. Okay, well, I cannot like really see anything. <laughs> so um, if you're going around the convention, ooh, I recommend uh, making that out of something you can see through. You cannot see through that at all. It'd be fine for like a photo shoot, obviously, but yeah. So let's talk about this costume, I guess, now that we've, I've kind of ranted a little bit. I really like it. <laughs> um, there are a couple things I don't like that I've stated previously how that the only way to get this on is a zipper and the zipper <laughs> is not enough. <laughs> um, and the fact that that little decorative piece just fell apart and <laughs> like I couldn't even try to put it on. Um, but other than that, like I've really enjoyed everything. Uh, now that I'm thinking about the little elastics on my arms, they aren't bothering me too much, but like I said, they could probably get annoying. <laughs> if you, you go to a summer convention, you get sweat under there or something. But honestly, they aren't bothering me too much. As time goes on, when I first put them on, I was like, oh, these are squeezing my arms, but they're kind of just there now. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys a full body as I usually do. Um, and, Honestly, 
I'm probably the gloves fit like they aren't like ginormous you know how cosplay gloves get they're like for a giant <laughs> they're and they're always wonky size like they aren't even a hand size yeah besides like the two things like as long as I can continue to get in this without like ripping something <laughs> yeah I like it a lot and Honestly, I'm probably gonna give this a 9 out of 10. Like, kind of crazy, but 9.5, actually. <laughs> you know what? I love it, and I can't wait to wear it. I'm probably gonna wear it to SAC Anime Spring. I wasn't sure if it was gonna get here in time, but the shipping, that's another thing. The shipping for the ready to ship was amazing. That was so quick, and the quality is really nice. Um, the things I don't like besides, like, um, needing like, uh, sorry, <laughs> I said um like five times. <laughs> Besides needing a clasp or a snap or velcro, something to also help you get into this. Like, I could just fix. <laughs> I can fix the little leg rope if it needs to be smaller or it needs to stay to my socks and I could fix uh, this little guy. Like I could just put my own, get a new backing, a new um, a new clasp backing and just do it myself. And that's pretty easy and I probably have some already. So yeah, I think I really recommend this. I would be very wary of shoulder width um, for getting in and out of this costume, but it's very comfortable, it's beautiful. It's just awesome, I love it. And it fits well, other than like trying to get it on like reverse birth or something. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> disgusting. But yeah, I like it. And I hope that I get a lot of wear out of it. I've gotten so much wear out of my other 2B costume. And so I am thinking about getting the vanilla one from Doki Doki. That's an SR, so I might do a review on it if I do get it. I've been rambling a lot. Let's go take a look at this costume in full body. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I feel like no matter how many times I do this video, these type of videos, I always ramble. So <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. But if you've gotten this far and you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe and check out my other social media websites. And I'll see you guys next time. And I hope you all stay safe. I hope you enjoyed me trying on this cosplay. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.